Hey there, welcome back to another Bob Blast. This is that second half I promised you from the previous Bob Blast that talked about how I name or title a painting. I always title it first, that way I know when it's done, when it matches the title, as opposed to what's going on on Facebook right now. Everyone's posting their painting, asking you permission if it's done. Hello, if you name the painting and title it and have a concept, you'll know when it's done. Anyway, that's my personal feeling about all of this stuff, about pre-posting all your paintings, asking somebody else if they're done. Hello, I'm in my studio by myself, so you gotta be your best friend. So, continuing from last Bob Last, where I had a title, a theme, and if you recall, it was called Soulmates, Couples, People Being Together. And I looked up the Cesaris, all the other titles. That thesaurus is a great book to have in your studio. It gives you thousands of other titles for your painting. Let's get started where we left off last time. So if you recall the last Bob Blast, I was doing a painting similar to this. This what gave me the idea to do a soulmate. So here we are, the table's all still set up. First thing I do is squeeze out all my paints on the table. That's my palette. It's easier to mix here that way. Here's all my wonderful paints. Yay! Now I'm ready to go. A little bit of black. It's actually my black gesso and my white gesso. Here we go. You get to watch me paint this time. Yay! Here we go. Wet both my brushes. Always wet your brushes. Lots of water first. Doing some negative space painting. Notice I'm going to be painting on all of them all at the same time. Rapidly, as a matter of fact. If you stay in too, one area too long, it kind of starts to get stifled, I think. I'm all over the place here. It's nice to have choices, huh? So that's the first part. That's the first part. Now let's put in the, kind of the background color. Add a little bit of blue. Allows me to go back in and cut in, so to speak. Do some reductive painting techniques here. There we go. Looks like a couple sitting on a sofa. Kind of, sort of. Notice I'm using a large brushes. No details. Nothing's more boring than looking at a painting with a whole lot of details. That's my opinion, anyway. Show the viewer how exciting it is to be a painter. Not how boring it can be. There's something you'll never hear someone say when they look at a painting. Hey, you know what that painting needs? More detail. You'll never hear that. You want people to go, wow, you're having way too much fun. At least that's how I feel about it. Again, keeping the theme always in line. When I start falling out of the theme, that means I'm out of integrity with the painting. Working on all of them, all at the same time keeps me loose. That's one of the reasons why we all stay in too, of a painting too long, I think. It's because we don't have another painting to go to. So, short, choppy strokes, lots of paint. This is my warm-up. Remember, this is how I start the day. Kind of give me a whole lot of things to play with later on in the day. There, there we go. So that's step two, so to speak, and how I do my warm-ups. Always on a theme, always have a concept. The title is Soulmates. And because I looked up in the Cesaris, all these different names, these will actually have different names related to Soulmates. I can't wait to finish this. And I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. But I have some important information coming right up to trade shows that are really, really fantastic. And here are the dates. So I mentioned trade shows. If you've never experienced them, it's a fantastic time. What it is, usually sponsored by an art organization or Holbein Paints, they'll have a trade show that lasts a week and they bring in all kinds of artists who teach and they're like three hour classes, a whole bunch of three hour classes or some eight hour classes. The good thing about those is they can go from one workshop to the next one to the next one. You can actually do three in one day. They're that backed up. They're fantastic. You're going to be with your people, so they speak. And uh, it's a great time for me to be out to meet all the other artists, and especially to meet you, because I see, hear you on the Facebook and places like that. But 
I get to actually meet you. And we all get to paint together. And usually the paints are provided. You gotta go. Check out these dates. Here's the next one is the Vermont Art Event, July 25 to the 29th. Go to my website. And right on the front page of my website, you'll see trade shows. Push that button, it'll go right up into my schedule of the classes that I'm teaching. Also here in Santa Fe, you gotta go to Santa Fe, New Mexico, right? Artisan Santa Fe Expo. It's huge and it's extremely well organized uh, by the Santa Fe Art Expo. You gotta check it out. Go There's the date, September 29th to October 2nd. I'll be there. I can't wait to throw paint at you. See you on the next Bob Blast.